Little Chicken for me has the spirit of my mother. And I named her Charlie because that's what I wanted to name my firstborn child. Say hi. My name is Miss Nicole Brooke, and this is Little Chicken Story for GeoBeats. I would do anything for her. She is a cockatiel who is one year old. Um, she loves to sit on my head. She saved me in a really dark moment after my mom passed away. She's the reason why I got up in the morning. She's the reason that made me smile and laugh and giggle every day. I swear, Little Chicken sends me signs of my mom so much. Little Chicken? I would just talk about my mom either on my phone or think about my mom and she would come flying on my head. So many instances, she'll start squawking when I'm talking about my mom. Little Chicken knows when I'm sad, knows when I'm happy, and it's beautiful that I can communicate with a bird. Just by making eye contact together, if she's like right over here and I just like drop everything and I just stare at her and she looks at me and she'll come running towards me and asking for cuddles. She loves to fly. There would be nights where she would sleep right next to me. She trusts me so much to take her out into public, to put her on her harness and bring her around in the bathtub. I had gotten her on an airplane, brought her to Barcelona. And I realized that my social anxiety was so high because I was by myself. Here in Barcelona, she was my emotional support pet. I would bring her on her leash because I felt too lonely to go walk around in the streets in Barcelona. If I had her, people would stop me, people would talk to me, people would smile. And I started saying like, hey, I'm helping spread smiles with little chicken. My little dinosaur. I got Stuart Little a year after Little Chicken. So Little Chicken could have a friend. He is a super cute little bugger, learning fast, loves to fly, loves to randomly perch on the weirdest places. He does this funny little thing with his tongue and he looks like a little dinosaur. Little Chicken, first day she was like, who is this other bird? All cockatiels have their own personalities and they don't always get along with other cockatiels. But after the second day, she was preening his feathers and trying to get all the food off of it. It was so beautiful. And then week two comes along. Stuart Little starts flying and he wants to fly where Little Chicken goes. Little Chicken is absolutely amazing and beautiful and adorable. She's a bilingual bird. She's understanding some things like vamos and come on. She recognizes her name. She's always just free in the house. When I brought her into this house, she was learning so quickly between where my room was, where the living room was, where the kitchen is. She's very smart. As soon as she hears the microwave, for example, she's in the kitchen with me. Like she knows that, oh, maybe I'm gonna get food. <laughs> I did the gender test and I'm like, if I do a gender reveal party, how extra would that be? <laughs> How American would that be? I just felt like my mom would be really happy with that. A lot of my parties I'm doing in her honor. I invited friends. I spent a pretty penny on a delicious coconut cake. I was convinced Little Chicken was a boy, so I actually had to process the fact that Little Chicken was a girl. She's my best friend. She is my everything. She's Little Chicken.